Hi guys, in this video I want to show you something that I think you should be implementing and you should be implementing it ASAP. This is a screenshot from uh, my webmaster account and you can see here that there's at the top I've got three easy articles, no sorry four articles from easy articles listed and you can see here the, the click through rate is 24%, 20%, 20% and 18% which is okay, pretty good. What I want to show you is the position that they're ranking in Google. The average position for the top one with 24% is ranking fifth. The position of the one with 20% is 4.5, 1.9, and 5.7. So you see, none of those are actually ranking number one in Google. In fact, some of them, I'll show you in a second, are actually ranking almost at the bottom of the first page but they're still getting quite a high click-through rate. Now these articles are actually four years old and I actually wrote them for a site which I've since sold. So the person who bought the site is still getting lots of traffic from me. However, if we go into Google, so here is how to divorce your wife. It's got 133 million results according to Google. If you scroll down, you see a video here which stands out because it's got a little image. Here is the article that's getting about I think about 20% click through rate. It's got my image next to it. Now I can tell you that the only reason this is getting such a high click through rate is because my image makes it stand out. If you get to that page and you skim through, you see the image, you tend to look at it. I have got a article here which had 12,000 impressions in the last month. Its average ranking is 180th and I've still had 110 people come to my site just because of that little image. If we go to Google, uh, about last quarter of last year, or the last half of last year, they introduced a thing called rel equals author, which they used to assign authorship to content that's written. It's, a good, it's going to be an attempt at some point to link all someone's content together and then they can tell that you're a good quality writer. So you could write a piece and it could be languishing way down the rankings but because they know from history, historically, that your content's good quality, people come to read it and they like it, then some of that positive feeling or rating or ranking from your other articles will probably be assigned to your new content. The first line of what Google says about this authorship information is quite telling. Google is piloting the display of author information in search results to help users discover great content. I think it's quite obvious in that they want to link all good content together, all your good content if you're writing good content, then they're interested in linking it. So let's have a look at how you can do this. The first thing you're going to need is a Google Plus account. If you haven't got one, get one. And then when you go into your profile, on the right hand side, you've got a section that says Contributor To. And if you click on that, all you need to do is add links to whatever you write content for. So you can see here I've got four of my blogs and easy articles in there at the moment. And that is it. So you add that. Now that points back to your blogs. Now, next thing you need to do is actually point your blog back to Google Plus, to your profile. So you link them up that way and that's how Google knows it's you. You can do this manually by adding um, a rel equals author tag to your articles. I would suggest that you go and get a plugin. Here is a plugin, it's called WP Google Authorship. That's just the first one I came across when I w went searching. It's very simple to install it like normal. Then it gives you, gives you here the option, use the short code Google plus author on your page content. So 
So all you need simply to do is make sure when you write an article and you want it listed, you add Google Plus Author as a bit of short code. You can hard code this into your theme if you wanted to and if you know how to do it. There are several other plugins that you can use and let's have a look, see back if we can find any more. There's another one here, Google Plus Author. There's another one. Uh, there's, there's quite a few. Just just do a search and you'll come across several of them. You can do it manually if you want. If you go to uh, do a search in Google for rel equals author, they come up with two methods of doing it. And when you finish doing it, uh, method one or method two, you go to the rich snippets tool and you paste in an article you've written, it will test it for you. And what you're looking for is this bit here, verified authorship markup is verified for this page. So that's it. Although it's quite a simple change, you might find, might, may find it a little bit fiddly, but persevere, it'll only take you 10 minutes maximum. And over the next week or two weeks, Google will start to index all your content. And you'll find that the amount of traffic back to your blogs does increase. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. Any comments, obviously let me know. Thanks a lot.